Have I got some bad news for you guys. Not only is the snow gone, but Jules, she's not here this morning. I'm gonna have to be working by myself, but more than that, you're gonna have to look at me by myself. Terrible day here on the homestead. But not to fear, she'll be back soon. Well, soon in the video, a long time for me. Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful day today. Seth and I are headed down to Coeur d'Alene for an early morning appointment. I've already been to the gym and we picked up some special presents that we're making, what well, we're having made by a local lady here in Sandpoint for our patrons. We kind of typically, once a year, we send out some kind of a thank you to our patrons. And anyways, she printed off an example for me today and I'm super excited about it. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different today, guys. We're gonna be actually working on that furnace that you saw in yesterday's video. Man, there's a lot of stuff on top of this thing. Trying to get the insulation box around it. All right, open this guy up. We'll see what we got here to work with. I was thinking that I'd just carry on, you know, with the sheetrock while Jules wasn't here. Maybe do one of the closets or something, one of those tight spaces. Then I realized there's no sheetrock up there and I don't really want to carry it up there by myself. So we're going to work with this cool stuff here. And they really wrap this stuff up. Here we go, man. Look at that. That stuff's awesome. This stuff right here is two inches thick, two inch thick insulated foam board. And uh, it's R13 rated. We're gonna use this because I just think it'll be easier and neater and cleaner up there. Let's go see what we can do with it. So we actually drive a lot more than we thought we did because this is the first service on the truck that we are having and we actually had it scheduled for sometime in January. So we had to bump it up because it's the first 5,000 miles you're supposed to get a service. So that is the first thing on our list to do here in Coeur d'Alene today. But you know what guys? We do not have a good name for the truck and we have names for all of our vehicles. Yep. I don't, we just like automatically give them names. So the Toyota 4Runner is Maxine. So she's a girl. The um, tractor is one eye and that just kind of because he has only one headlight and we have never fixed it <laughs> and then the little pickup we kind of go back and forth with them sometimes we actually just refer to him as pickup or or the truck or the truck yeah but um i wanted to call him mario but that really hasn't <laughs> stuck so we need a good name for this the white um tundra and i just really can't think of anything like nothing is just like staying strong in yeah. our brains so you guys need to help us like put your suggestions isn't it is it a girl or a boy it's a boy yeah yeah i think it's a boy too well so far it's way lighter than sheetrock like you could carry it with one hand do, 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 do. let's see what kind of van damage we can do with this bad boy up here See if we can get that furnace insulated today. So what we're gonna try to do is make this neat and clean. The important word here is try. All right, I know, don't stand up here, right? It's bad for you. Well, the first thing we need to do is measure across here, see how long our piece needs to be, and then measure from here up to the bottom of this and try to cut a hole out for that. We got that duck we wanna cut around as well. And that way hopefully we can get a pretty good seal on that. We could use some spray foam to seal around it even better if we want to, but we're gonna try it here. We've got all of our measurements written out right here. So we can go ahead and try and start laying this guy out. This will be the top, that'll be the bottom. Let's hope we can do it right. First of all, we're coming across here, 49 and a half inches, 49 and a half inches. Oh boy, that stuff tears easy. It's not really meant for marking on too well, is it? All right, 49 and a half inches. That's what we want to cut. First time ever cutting this stuff. Let's try to cut it, man. All right, you think it just breaks like sheetrock? Let's find out. 
Something tells me it probably does. Huh. I don't know. It does, man. Pretty clean, pretty clean. There we go. Look at that. It's beautiful. What do we do from here? That's the question, isn't it? Lot of boring math later. Yeah, right there. So right here is the bottom of this circle that's going here. Right there is the bottom center of this hole we're gonna cut here. All right, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. All right, second step is done. We had to stop in while we're in the big city and talk to our CPA about all our business taxes and all that kind of fun stuff. We actually use core accounting and consulting for our business taxes and personal taxes, but they are a great company. And um, Brian is our CPA. Brian Tini, I think is our Tini is his last name. Anyways, he is a like registered with the Dave Ramsey program and stuff that they use. And he has a lot of knowledge. So we really appreciate their services. If you're local and you need somebody to help out with your taxes, this is a great company. All right, we're gonna cut out this hole and then we'll figure out how to get it up there. This stuff kind of smells funny. Right when you first cut it, kind of smells like dead fish. Am I doing this the hard way? Probably so. I'm sure that there's an easier way to do it, but I don't know what it is. We could probably just slap some bat insulation up there and call it good, but I want to do it this way. All right, let's see here. Come on out, little friend. Whew. Okay, well, what do you think, man? It came out all right so far. We got to figure out how we're actually gonna fit it up there around those things though. That's the tricky, that's the tricky part. So I'm thinking if we cut this here, it should slide up you know, kind of wiggle it. And then this one, I mean, if we just cut it right here like that, that should let it slide in there. I think anyway, we'll give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? Well, <laughs> I kind of did it backwards. I wanted the one of the shiny side on the inside, but I forgot and I did it wrong. That's okay. It's not gonna hurt nothing. Come on, baby. You can do it. Well, my idea of one solid piece, I think, is a uh, failure. We're gonna have to cut it right here in the middle. Okay, now maybe we can make some progress here. I want this guy to go up here. <laughs> Look at that, man. Can you see it? We did it. It's a nice, pretty snug fit too. That's awesome. Let's see if we can get the other one up there. Ow, oh, my shin. There we go, man. Ha ha. We did it, dude. Yeah. Check it out, we did it, man. It's all up there. Nice and clean. We're gonna put a triangle piece right here, covering this whole area right here for the penetration for this guy. So we are now at T-Mobile and we're here because I need a Wi-Fi plan. <laughs> Why does it feel like you need that now? I'm about to get my permit and then after that my driver's license. So it's just good and safe to have a plan yeah. just in case. So we're here to check out prices and yep. see what it costs to add you to our plan and all that fun stuff. All right, so there you got a new number, dude. Yeah. That's so awesome. New number, more Wi-Fi. <laughs> You don't have to use our hotspot anymore. Let's go home. Yes, let's go home. <laughs> Such a high jump. Marty didn't want to get runners. I think we should have got runners. Fresh, fresh, not tall people. Got another piece cut here. Let me show you where that goes. Oh, right here. And I gotta tell you something that's really cool too here in just a second. It goes right up here. I gotta cut out a hole for this uh, fresh air intake, but it'll fit right up there. It's a triangle piece. The thing that I really wanted to tell you was, check out these lights. We bought these lights super cheap on Amazon. We had them up in the rafters. Now we got them down here. 
But watch this. They're like super durable. Like we um, have been stepping on them on accident, right? That's not on purpose. We wouldn't purposely destroy them. But since we were, had to put them on the floor because we are sheetrocking the ceiling, you know, we accidentally kept stepping on them. And through that process, I found out that, man, these things are super durable lights, man. Imagine doing that with a fluorescent light, right? It would never happen. One step and it'd be broken. Thank you, Ty, from Quality of Life, for recommending these lights. They're really durable. We came up 16 and a quarter inches, came over 12 and a quarter inches. Center mark, went around it with the tape. Just hold the tape on there. Hold the pencil right there. Go around in a circle. That. And cut this out. It's gonna be so cool if this works. Wow, that is one squeaky guy. Whew, we did it, man. We got a circle. All right, it's way too hard to film up there. I'm gonna go see if it fits. If it does, I'll show you. If it doesn't, well, I'll tell you too, but we're gonna try to get it up there and I'll show you the results, okay? It should be really cool. It fit like a glove, man. It fit like a glove. Let's go up the ladder, man. Why not? It'd be fun. All right, here we go. Check it out. There you go. Bam, look at that. It fits like a glove. We'll actually foam around here to make sure that's sealed up really good. And then this is going to be stapled up here. And there'll be a front piece that goes across there. So when you come up through the trap door, you just move the rigid foam. You just move the rigid foam out of the way. You got access to the whole furnace and if it has to come down for some reason in the future just spin it and pull it right down that hole that's how we got it up there so you should be able to get it down the same way but it wasn't easy getting it up there i know some of you guys are asking why did you put the furnace up in the attic it seems like a dumb place to put it that's what was recommended to us by the experts so we went with that recommendation uh it's up there now right it's fine it's going to be like that and some of you guys are saying that, you know, you're going to come to regret that and other things that we've done around here that you think have been done wrong. First of all, let me just say this. There's a lot of different ways to do pretty much everything, right? And usually us as human beings tend to think that the way we do it in our area is the right way to do it. And that's not necessarily true, right? There's all different kinds of ways to do all different kinds of things, but... We put it up there in the attic. We may come to regret it. I doubt it though. I'm 49 years old. Probably Sarah and Seth, if there's a problem, will be the ones to come to regret my decision. Sorry, Sarah and Seth. If there's a problem, you'll probably have to be the ones to deal with it. I apologize now for years down the road when you may have to do it, all right? I think it's gonna work great up there. He recommended doing it so it would save space down here. The original plan was to put it in this closet right here. Now that would have been a lot easier to work on or to replace should we have to do that in 20 or 30 or 40 years down the road, but we would have lost all that closet space there. So in 20, 30 or 40 years down the road, when and if that has to be replaced, well, it'll just be a little bit more difficult. Not a big deal. What you doing over here? Oh, getting the truck ready. Thank you for coming home too. <laughs> I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to. Move it! I'm so glad to be home. Yes. <laughs> We're like playing the car shuffle right now. Yeah, we gotta move the truck. We gotta hook up the trailer. We got some things to do here, which is gonna be cool. You're definitely gonna wanna check it out, but. You know what you need to bring? Your gloves. My gloves, yeah. yes, we need gloves. And I this. need to go find a tape measure. Okay, tape measure, gloves. We're gonna move the truck, get the trailer hooked up. Okay. You wanna go find those things and I'll do this? Yeah, which gloves do you want? Just my leather gloves. We are super blessed to have tools. <laughs> but it's hard to find them sometimes when you need them and gloves and all that kind of fun stuff okay tape measure got that but i think he left his gloves down by the wood stove <laughs> temperature is definitely dropping you guys check this out i don't know if marty told you but we're supposed to get snow tonight it is getting colder that's not good news for everybody but it is for us we want the snow back gloves gloves where are you yeah here they are Gloves for Marty. We got, that looks like a pair. That one is a left <laughs> and that one's right. Yeah, got him. Texer, you have to stay home. You don't get to come this time. I know your eyes are like glowing. He doesn't like to be home alone, but you're good. You're such a good boy. To sit by the fire. Yeah, you're a good boy. He knows when we're leaving. 
Where are you going with my baby? <laughs> Leaving the homestead. You taking her somewhere with a brand new motor? It's a brand new motor. Look at that, Southern. Oh, nice. Where are we, Marty? And we're at the Restore Habitat for Humanity. Haven't been here in a long time. No, we have not. Take you guys in, show you around a little bit. Got a lot of cool stuff in there. Might find something you can't live without. That could be. <laughs> Whoa, I just dropped you. All right. Whoa, hello, big dog. You are a monster. Is your name a horse? Look at that. He's sitting like a... Ted. He's like sitting like a person. He's so big. Aww. His head's as big as Tux. He's a good boy. Yeah. Oh, you have a good alarm system. Is that your couch? He's got like his own special blanket. So yeah, man, they have all kinds of stuff in here. Electrical stuff, plumbing stuff, cabinets, toilets. You need a urinal. They got a urinal here. Bidet. Wow, that's cool. Uh, kitchen sinks, vanity sinks, vanities, all kinds of really cool stuff in here, guys. And it's all pretty cheap. A lot of it's used, some of it's new, but most of it's all used. Looking for something that we really super badly need. I don't think there really is anything, but you never know. You need a shower head? Brand new shower head. Maybe new, maybe used, who knows. But yeah, we're here to help somebody out, man. We're here to help. That's our job today. We've also got a lot of furniture, cabinets and things. Did you find the stove, guys? Yeah, there it is right here. Cool. Did he say it's dual fuel? Yeah, dual fuel. What does that mean? He said that it does propane, uh, propane gas. and gas. Like natural gas. I guess. <laughs> I would imagine. I'm sure you don't put gasoline don't know, in it. Look how beautiful it is. It is nice. This is actually the same store that gave us our futon bed that Marty and I are actually still sleeping on. It's just the mattress part, but they didn't want to sell it to me. They just gave it to me. Apparently, they have those different standards here. Somebody dropped it off and they actually couldn't legally sell it. So he just gave it to me and it has been a lifesaver. We used it originally in our tent. <laughs> Anyways, we're probably due for a new mattress. After we get into the apartment, that's gonna be like celebratory. We'll go buy like a real mattress to lay on. <laughs> All right, this is where we are. Can you guess where we are? If you already know, whoa, Marty's coming towards me. <laughs> if you know where we are, put it down in the comments. I know that several of you probably already do. Marty's gonna try to back this thing up all the way. Let's see how he does. I think he's having to put it four wheel drive. It's really muddy. Look at him, he's an expert. He's such a pro at it. Heather's giving you signals. Looks good, hon. All right, mission complete. Stove, wood splitter delivered. So they should be set. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Let's go. We got game night tonight. Yeah, we playing and games pizza. with our friends. Don't forget uh, pizza. And pizza. <laughs> and push-ups still we gotta do. That's right. And, and we question. gotta answer a question. Whew. We got a lot to do today still. Look, the sun's already setting. Oh, it looks pretty in the camera. Yeah, it does. All right, time for the push-up challenge. We've recruited some other people here that are going to join us in the challenge. We've got uh, Michelle and Grayson and Reese. Devin. Oh, and Devin. Who's this? Seth. Oh yeah, Seth. Oh okay. All right, so we've got we got a few people here. I don't know. Taylor. We're gonna start that. Taylor, you gonna join in? I'm not here. Oh, you're not here. Okay. I hope I recorded that whole thing. We just did our whole push-up challenge with all of these fine folks here. No, we did lies. It's all lies. <laughs> Every single bit. And I forgot to hit record. So uh, you're gonna make sure it's recording, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> All right. We did it twice today, so you should do it at least once. Hi, the Johnsons. My name is Shez, and I'm from the UK, and I've accepted your challenge. We made it back home, and Paul David Gapford 
gets the question of the day. Every day in December, we're answering one of your very important questions. So if you have a question that you would like us to answer in a video, you get a special shout out like Paul did. Put it down in the comments below. And if we pick your question, we'll give you that special shout out. But he asks whether or not we have thought of using wind power. We have thought of using wind power, but thankfully we do not get a lot of wind here. That's one of the reasons why we like this area is because it's not windy. I don't like wind. You like wind? I don't. I would have to chop my hair off if we lived in a really wind play windy place. I'd, or I'd just like wear it in a braid all the time. <laughs> that would be lame because I like her long hair flowing like that. <laughs> right? So now we've, we've thought about it and we're thankful that it's not an option here. Somebody else asked, I forget who it was, but it kind of goes along with this, Paul, is whether we have thought about using hydro. And we have thought of using hydro, except we have no running water on our property. So that won't really work here. We have our solar panels and our backup generator, and that's working pretty good for us so far. So thank you so much for the question. And we did pick out this video right here for you to go ahead and watch next. But in the meantime, we hope you guys have a really great day. Keep, Keep smiling. smiling.